So in our discussion about inferential statistics, we have to talk about estimators. So estimators are used to estimate a population parameter. And we distinguish an estimator from the estimate itself that we generate. And also there's a parameter which we're trying to get to. And so you have this estimator, an estimate, and the parameter itself. So remember, as we think about this, we have a sample taken from the population and we're using it to estimate a population parameter. Now the estimator is a function that generates the estimate itself. It's just a tool to get to the estimate. And you actually use estimators all the time, you just maybe don't know it. So the mean, the median, the mode, the min, the max, these are all estimators. They're not the estimate itself, it's just how we get to the estimate of the population parameter. And as we think about trying to get the best estimate possible, we think about which of these estimators should we use? Like what makes most sense? Does it make sense to use the mean or the median in our case? Now, before we kind of make that decision, we need to understand what properties of good estimators are. Like what makes a good estimator? So the first, and this is pretty common sense, is that it's unbiased, that the expected value is equal to the population parameter. We like whatever we, the estimate that we get is close to the actual value. And also that the estimator is consistent. With more observations, we get closer to the population parameter. As we increase the size of the sample, we get closer to what we're ultimately trying to guess or estimate. And also that it's efficient, that the estimator has lower sampling variability than a competing estimator. So we want it to be unbiased, consistent, and efficient. Now, a common method for evaluating an estimator is the mean squared error, the mean squared error, MSE. And it measures the average of the squares of the errors, which is kind of a mouthful. But remember, errors are the difference between estimated and actual values. Like what's the, the error there? How far off were we? And it considers both bias and variance of estimators. Now bias and variance, which we kind of just talked about briefly a moment ago, are going to be very important when you talk more about machine learning. These come up again and again. So this val or this measure, the mean squared error, considers both of these things. Now, we also want to talk about the different estimator types. We have point estimators and interval estimators. So point estimators are a single value, like 85 kilograms. And as an example, a sample mean is a point estimate of a population mean. Now, the interval estimator is a range of values, like for example, between 78 and 92 kilograms. It's, our estimate is that it's within that range. Now also, as we talk about estimators, you may come across theta. What this is, is it just denotes a generic unknown parameter of interest. Okay, the true value of theta is denoted as such, while an estimator of theta is denoted with a hat, theta hat. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click to subscribe. And if you want a free stats cheat sheet, you can find one over at codybaldwin.com.